In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the basics of isolating something using the pen tool. This is my favorite isolation method just because it's so accurate and you have so much control over it. If you're not familiar with the pen tool, you can find it by using the control shortcut P or you can find it right over here on your uh, your tool bar palette and we want just the pen tool so ignore the rest of these freeform add another anchor point delete we won't use these for our purposes this time just grab the pen tool and you'll notice a few options at the top and it's important that you pay attention to what options you have selected for our purposes we're gonna make sure that we have pen tool as the selection here in this area and also that we are uh, creating a path so we do not want to be creating a shape layer or be filling pixels for our purposes right now for isolation I want to create a path so make sure you have the paths selected and over here by default mine is set to exclude overlapping path areas and that's fine for what we're gonna do today we won't get into that we're just gonna take a uh, complex shape and isolate it with the pen tool. Now the first thing that you'll do is to start your path by clicking anywhere and create an anchor point. I'm gonna do that just right here on uh, one of the side surfaces of this shark's nose. Once you do this, wherever else you click it's gonna connect to your original anchor point and it's gonna continue your path. And in this case I want to continue my path up along the top of the shark's head and I want to isolate him from this background for a design. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on the top part of his head. Now you'll notice it sends a line straight across, uh, which is not really what I want. I could have clicked a couple of different places and isolated it such as that, uh, but that's really not ideal because I want it to be a smooth line. And so with pen tool, the way that you create a smooth line is to click into hold and drag your pen and when you do that you can shape your line and the curvature of your line by holding and dragging and you'll see these what we call handlebars which appear and allow you to adjust your shape so in this case I'm just gonna get as close as I can to the shape I'm not gonna spend a lot of time because it doesn't matter too much to me at this point uh, the accuracy of that little round part so I'm just gonna create uh, a round area the size of his nose roughly so that I can isolate it and I'm gonna continue on up here and do the same thing I'm gonna click and hold not letting go of my uh, mouse and I'm gonna drag and just give it a little more form so there's not any sharp edges because this is a very smooth and uh, curvy animal and the, the design of this animal is very sleek and aerodynamic I want it to look that way in my past and so I'm gonna continue to do that as you get used to the pen tool it'll be easier for you to know how clicking and dragging will work because you've experienced it and you'll know where to click for our purposes here we're just clicking and dragging and creating some nice circular shapes and getting a rough outline of the shark and I'm gonna continue along his back until I get to this now you'll notice here there is more of a sharp decline here and if I follow the curvature of his fin release it looks nice here but when I go to click down here I'm going to end up with a curved and a bubble and I don't want that so let me show you how to avoid that we're gonna go back on the anchor points and this time I'm gonna click drag holding all the while on my mouse button still holding it I'm going to hit the alt key after I get it shaped the way that I want to behind me what the alt key will do is break free my front handlebar so that now I can adjust it and it will not affect the curve of what I just created so holding down the alt key I'm gonna shift this handlebar downwards then release my mouse and release the alt key and I now have uh, a sharp edge without losing the curve of the previous side and I'm gonna continue along By the way, holding down on the shift key will allow you to snap to. Uh, so it, it will snap it at perfect angles, 90 degree angles, 45 degree angles, and that shift key will allow you to do that more easily. Continue along the shark's tail. 
And, and I'm going to do my same technique again here. I'm going to hold down on Alt, bring my handlebar around, and angle it so that I can create more of a sharp turn there for the tail. Just continue. Suppose I want an angle, but not as much of an angle as I had initially. Like in this case, I may not want an angle that shoots this far into the body, but I don't want it to look sharp. You can hold Alt also and retract your handlebar, which will also uh, retract the size of the curve you will create when you click your next anchor point. And I'm just going to continue around the shark. He has a, a nice figure here. It's got a lot of curves and a few sharp points to illustrate how you'd use the pen tool, but uh, we're almost done with him now. So as I come around the front part of the face and finish him off, grab his mouth and complete my path. Now my path is completed. I'm going to assume this is what I want to isolate. And how I would do that is to go over to the paths. And in the paths, you have an option on the bottom that says load path as selection. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you'll see the marching ants uh, symbol around now our shark and I'm gonna isolate him fairly easily in this case there's two ways you can do this if you're if you're isolating on a background because backgrounds are by default locked and in this case since it's the only image I'm working on it's by default locked and it cannot be masked uh, right now or erased so what I'm going to do to allow me to unlock it is I'm going to double click on it and I'm gonna name it shark hit OK and you'll notice the lock disappears now and I can isolate it. The way I'm going to isolate in this case is while it is selected while the path has been transformed into a selection and it's currently active I go down here on the bottom of my layers palette hit add layer mask and I now have an isolated shark. I hope that helps you out. It's a very accurate tool for isolating. It's much easier than using the wand uh, if you're trying to get very sharp detail and very smooth lines. And once you get the hang of it, it's, it's going to be one of the best tools that you use for compositing. So I hope this uh, works for you.